Welcome friends. Today I am going to discuss about the JPA versus JDBC using S2 database. I have already covered JPA repository using S2 database. Uh, today I am focusing more on the JDBC to connect to S2 database. So difference between JDBC and JPA I have already covered in this picture. Let me go one by one. The dependency what I have to add for the JT, JDBC support that is Spring Boot Starter JDBC. Okay. And what I need to do in the controller. So uh, uh, same as that uh, JPA in the JDBC itself. I from the controller perspective there is no difference. I have just to redirect to from controller to the service. Okay. And uh, uh, if you see that service from service itself, it's also no difference much. Okay, all the difference in the DAO layer that is JDBC. So what I have to do in the DAO layer, uh, here I have auto add the JDBC template, and from JDBC template I have used uh, template dot query for object for get. Uh, I have used the query that is select star from book where uh, book ID equal to something. Okay, I, I have passed the book ID. This is for the get operation. So I have to pass that query. I have to pass the model object. Okay, and only thing what I have uh, uh, issue found issue that uh, its uh, ID primary key is not getting auto generated. I will uh, cover in the next section. Okay. And uh, for save or update, that is the post operation. What do you template dot update or the delete operation template dot update? You have to here you have to provide that uh, query that is insert query or the delete query and keep that parameter itself. So that's it for the JDBC. Okay, and the change code. What I have to do that book repository for book I have shown here and. Uh, let me show revisit the code here okay uh, what i have done here uh, if you see that pom.xml and the pom.xml itself what i have added uh, that mainly the jdbc and the swagger is the added feature and for the jpa repository what i need to do for jpa repository that i have to do com h2 database and h2 runtime okay and also jpa okay spring boot starter data jpa so jpa and the s2 database so this is for the jpa spring boot starter jpa and this is for the h2 database and one last one is for the uh, spring boot starter jdbc so this is for the dependency and the swagger is the added feature and regarding the controller uh, so here in this controller uh, here I have mentioned here right uh, search book by H2 so save book search book by H2 this is uh, just like uh, uh, what I have done with the JPA repository okay uh, so here uh, from the repository itself I can do that same thing okay and uh, here the service and the for uh, JPA repository here okay save book and for the JDBC itself for the JDBC itself I have mentioned here search book by JDBC and uh, in the service communicate to the service okay now check what is the difference uh, between the JDBC layer and the JPA layer okay so here you see that uh, JDBC from book JDBC. So it's a difference search book by JDBC. So extra uh, DAO layer I have to create it. So difference between the JPA DAO and the JDBC DAO. So what you have seen here, this is for the normal JPA. Okay. So book uh, repository just interfaced extends the JPA repository, mention the model and the uh, primary key. That's it. And but for the book repository for the JDBC, you have to mention the query, okay? And uh, you have to give the get, post, and the delete operation. What I have mentioned here. Now, 
first uh, check uh, that what's the uh, data available here okay so here first you will see that no data is available now let's see uh, add something so here that uh, add by JDBC add by normal uh, JPA repository. So today I am focusing more on the JDBC. So I am going to add by JDBC and Here uh, I have to give the book ID because uh, I was not able to make it auto generate for the JDBC. I will cover in the next section. Okay, let's one one say Corona one one price one one okay so update it and once you make it update so i am passing here you will get that whether successfully saved or not and where is that controller uh, the controller part this is the controller so save book by jdbc okay here you will see that what i am going to invoke save book by jdbc okay and here uh, once the service what it is going to update if it is successful successfully saved book otherwise failure so this message will be invoked okay now see what uh, i can see from here so here earlier it was having no data now i can see one data okay uh, let me add uh, multiple data okay say 12 Say 13 corona 13 don't think this is a virus okay this is just a name and the price for it 14 okay so 11 12 13 14 so it should uh, have more data okay so get all that data so 11 12 13 14 Okay. and uh, so here you are giving that id book id 11 12 13 14 okay now i am going to check i buy id okay so where is the gate operation so there is a two way one is the jdbc one is the normal jpa i am going by the jdbc way for id uh, let me give uh, 13 itself okay uh here i can see 13 okay and uh, 14 so you will get accordingly 14 so what i have passed here 14 that is uh, id uh, let me check what's present uh here is that uh, search by id okay book id according to the book id you will get it okay now the next operation how you are going to search it first from service itself from jdbc itself query jdbc just passing here and the search id select star form earlier it was insert when i am saving it now here it is select star form okay and uh, see the difference uh, between the service for uh, uh, jpa and the jdbc you check it here it's a just a one line code okay it's a book repository from service itself okay book repository find by id and the repository having just a one line interface so that's the difference so jpa you have to write that's a one line code but the jdbc you have to write this amount of thing but you can customize query okay and uh, for jpa you want to find by name or something you have to write code and uh, you can just uh, uh, declare it and you can get it okay and uh, now go for the delete operation so 14 13 i have shown okay let me delete the 13 okay so where is the delete operation there is a two way one is that uh, delete by jp and the delete by jdbc okay so here i am going to remove 13 so if it is successful you will get that successfully deleted book uh, so where is that delete operation delete operation here uh, <coughs> delete book by jdbc and successfully deleted and how it is going to delete it 
it is uh, just passing it just like the post operations here i give that uh, id query id so just like that you have to uh, here uh, is a get operation and delete operation query and the id okay post operation here query and all that uh, question mark okay so this way uh, we can make it and everywhere template dot update so we can make it delete now we are making query to the database right let me check uh, the database itself right where is the table so since it's the h2 what i have to do i have to uh, check for the h2 console okay here it's a by default test db okay uh, if you don't mention anything otherwise you have to mention okay so here is the book so select run and 11 12 14 so i have uh, remove uh, 13 let me add anything okay uh, let me add one more book and check okay uh, where is the post by jdbc okay here i add say 17 b now check where it is successful successfully saved and also check the so here the data has come and also check that uh, all that book okay get all that book so it will give all that book uh, this function i have used uh, just uh, 11 12 14 17 okay so you can see it and uh, this one i have not uh, getting all that books i have used uh, just a normal jpa uh, so here it is uh, get all book where is that get all book mm. so it should be end so all book right book service all book and what i have done repository find all okay repository find all so this is the repository and find all so i have used jpa for this function okay and delete jdbc i have used for post i have used jdbc okay and get also i have used jdbc so this way um, we can connect to h2 database using jdbc okay okay hope you have uh, enjoyed and thank you very much keep subscribing don't forget to press the bell icon thank you